Hope you're doing well and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about day two of the Lake Lanier Touring Anglers Association and what went down. If you like this kind of content, do me a favor, click that like and subscribe button and become part of the team and family. Before I get started and go through what happened on the TEA for day two, I need to give a shout out and an apology to Bass365. I am just like everybody else. I try to get as much information correct as possible. Really what I wrote down was I wrote Bass Fan 365 and that was incorrect. And I apologize to Bass 365 for just getting your name wrong. It is, it is sincere apologies. It was not meant in any way bad. I just made a stupid mistake and wrote down the wrong thing. And having said that, if you're interested in checking out a live weigh-in, you can go to Bass 365 Angler's Channel, Advanced Angler, and Fish North Georgia, because they're all collaborating and putting the way in on a live stream, and they're all doing it on Facebook. So if you're interested in watching today's finals, sometime around three or four o'clock, check it out on one of their channels. And thanks for doing it, guys. Really, thanks for doing it. I think we need to address a couple things that were wrong, not on my part, but just things that I saw in the comments. First, Randy, the king of non-forward-facing uh, sonar, did not show up. He had other commitments to his family. And quite honestly, while I'm disappointed that he didn't go, I completely understand him not going. Family comes first. I believe that in everything in my heart. So while people might take some shots at him, and I will probably take shots at him at some point in time because I, I joke around a little bit too much, in this instance, I think we have to just take a step back and go, okay, family does come first, and hopefully he attends some of these events in the near future. Next, the payouts went down $15,000. They had had the, the payouts, the touring, Touring Anglers Association had the payout set at a 50 boat field and they had 47, so they had to deduct $15,000. There's been lots of people that have commented, well, the, the payouts are less. They're less because not as many people joined. The good thing about TAA is that they're only taking $5,000 out to put this whole thing on. And while a lot of people are like, they say they're doing 100% payback, that really isn't 100%. But when you look at the grand scheme of things of what it takes to put on a tournament and the things that they have to buy and hire people and so forth, to take $5,000 out to do what they have done is pretty damn impressive. So give them a little bit of slack on that one too, please. So day two was another fun day to watch in the grand scheme of things. I told you I liked the watching uh, Joey Suentes or however you say his last name out there. It was wonderful to see him fishing. It was wonderful to see the guys out there without forward-facing sonar and seeing really good bag limits. I mean, in all honesty, so 13 through 18 was just really ounces away of being in that top 12. And the top 12 anglers are fishing today for that $65,000. And elite angler Chris Johnston has $5,000 already in the bank. He stole it from Jared Littner. Not literally, but he caught a bigger fish. And he won the Big Fish Award with an eight pound fish. So he has $5,000 already in the bank and a guaranteed check for 10 grand. So Corey is in good shape and leading the tournament right now. And day two brought a whole different realm of issues for the guys. Weather changed drastically, but this was a good tournament to have on Lake Lanier right now. And sight fishing, and fish on beds and big fish on beds is really was really a good thought process by the TAA. This allowed anglers to get shallow, to do their thing, to sight fish. And while it isn't streaming like we all probably would love to watch, hearing the results and seeing the bags that are coming in was really positive. But like I said, Chris Johnson is leading the tournament with elite angler Drew Cook in second, major league fishing angler Jared Littner moved back to third, Emil Wagner, who's a local guide I hear, is just a stud, is in fourth, David Williams, Joyce Fuentes, Rob Jordan, Corey Johnston, Kaz Anderson, Gussie, William Fletcher, Jimmy Millsaps all round out the top 12 and are fishing right now for that possible $65,000. Now Chris has a almost six pound or a little over six pound lead on second place, but it still doesn't mean anyone anybody can't come back and win. And we'll do a wrap up show tomorrow to talk about the winner and then some of my thoughts on how to make this better. But this has been a real positive experience for for a lot of the anglers. They really enjoy the no practice and then the four hour ride around. And I've said that four hour thing a few times because I kept saying minute and I didn't want it to go over that it wasn't four minutes they got to drive around. They had a four hour ride around on the, before the first day. And my thoughts on this are that 
this has been fairly successful. I think they would have loved to have more anglers join and make a bigger pot, but hopefully the anglers that are fishing in it will continue to fish in it and it'll allow more anglers to come join this and make it bigger and better. Can they get 200 boats? I don't know if that's really a good number. I think there should be a number at that about 1, 125 in that range and then cap it at that. I think at 200 boats, that weigh-in will be really quite long. But it's up to everybody else. This is a new format that is probably and hopefully going to keep it's going to keep going. I really hope that they continue to improve. They had a really good weigh in yesterday. They had the the live the guys that did the live weigh in and did the streaming were really knowledgeable and were good. And also they had a decent crowd surprisingly too. And in a tournament that is really focused on one way of fishing or and and just shallow water fishing and not having a budget to go out and market what they're doing, the the weigh in had several. I mean, there was a good group of people there. It was very surprising. So hopefully we can all back them and just continue to support them and show them some love. But I'll have some pros and cons in tomorrow's recap. And of course, they don't have to listen to anything I say because who am I? But just things that I see as a fan. So if you like this kind of content, hit that like and subscribe button. Make sure you take a kid fishing. Get your fish on. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Cheers.